Hey Penna Pinchers, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. This is your glamorous Penny Pincher Shalomi and today I'm coming to you with these beautiful baby shower centerpieces that I DIY'd using all dollar store items. So if you want to see how I put it all together, just keep on watching. Now here are the items you'll need for this project and as you go through the video you'll see that I've added some more items. You will need a crystal vase from the Dollar Tree. I've also picked up some acrylic paint, different colors of course because I wanted to mix it to get the exact color I was looking for. So I have two shades of pink and a purple. I will also be using this beautiful ribbon that I picked up from the Dollarama. You will also need a foam brush, a container to mix your paint in. I'm also using this big styrofoam ball that I've had for a while. I've cut it in half and as you can see it fits perfectly in my bowl. You will also need some flowers or another alternative which I will show you as we go through the video. I also picked up these dowels and they come in a pack of six also from the Dollar Tree. I will leave a list of all the items in the description box below. Now after mixing my paints together, this is the color that we have arrived at and I absolutely love it. My client is not a pinky girl but she wants to be the pink family so I think this color is perfect for the project. Now I'm going to start by pouring the paint inside of the bowl. I'm going to paint it from the inside. That way we still have that sheen on the outside of it. So I just poured it in. I'm just going to go up the sides and work my way all the way around until everything is covered. After applying two coats, this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going to sit it down to dry for a couple of hours. Now I'm going to move on to painting my dowel and I'm just basically using the same paint so that way we have matching colors for the bowl and the dowel. Another item that I've added to this project is I got this pack of small styrofoam balls from the Dollarama for $1.25. I'm showing you the SKU number on the back in case you want to look it up. They are very tiny, very cute, and they remind me of little cake pops. So with that said, I have some lollipop sticks that I've had from an old project a couple of years ago. I'll just be adding it to the styrofoam balls just pushing it in all the way be careful not to pierce the top so push it about halfway in looks just like a cake pop and then we're going to paint them as well and here it is all nice and pink and while it's still wet, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add some glitter. This glitter I've had for a while. I think I either got it at Walmart or uh, Michael's. But any glitter of your choice will do. And I'm just going to shake it on to the, I'm calling it the cake pop, while the paint is still wet. Just trying to get as much glitter on as possible. Now isn't that super cute with a little bit of the pink still shining through? Now I'm going to put this to dry also for a couple of hours. Now that all the painting is out of the way, let's move on to our next step. 
Remember that alternative to the flowers I spoke to you about earlier? Well, here it is. It is actually a hanging garland, like, you know, tissue pom-poms. There are six in a pack. I got these at the Dollar Tree. And we'll be using this for our project instead of the flowers. Now once you open this, they are all attached because remember now it's supposed to be a garland. But we're going to do something differently with it. So open it up, check it out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut them off one at a time. Make sure before you cut it that that tie is nice and tight because while you're working with it, it does tend to loosen up a bit. One important thing to note is that when you cut it off, make sure you have a little bit of excess off the string before you start to work with it. Ask me how I know. And then once you have it nice and long, you just separate it gently because remember it's tissue and it will tear easily. But just handle it delicately and move all of the petals or all the sheets in an upward motion. Once you have moved all the sheets in an upward motion in the same direction, this is what it looks like. You have a perfect little flower. Absolutely gorgeous. Just fluff it out to your satisfaction. Now we're ready to put our foam ball in our bowl. And at this point, it's your choice whether to glue it or not. If not, then you can always use it for another project. Once you have finished forming your flowers and you're ready to attach them to the foam ball, now you can cut off the excess. After cutting off the excess, what I'll be doing is just adding some hot glue. And to be honest with you, if you have low temp, it's much better to use for this project because remember, when you're using the very hot glue, it's actually melting into the styrofoam. So just add your glue and go ahead and press it in to the styrofoam, holding it there for a little while until it sets. I first add my flowers all the way around the perimeter, starting at the base of the styrofoam. And once I have a full circle, then I fill in the top. Before filling in the top, however, I use the dowel to poke a hole in the top of the styrofoam to make sure that I have it there as a marker. And this is what it looks like, guys, all filled in. Isn't that just fluffy and gorgeous? And moving right along, guys, now we are ready to add our glittered cake pops. I will be adding four of them. And what I'm doing at this point is trying to find the four areas where I want to insert them. Now I found out that my cake pop sticks were a little bit long for where I wanted to insert it. So I just went ahead and just popped it. Didn't take much of an effort. I just bent it a couple of times and it just popped right off, and that was the perfect length for me to insert it. I found these beautiful stars at the Dollar Tree and I will be attaching the dowel to it. I am so happy it comes with this little hole and you'll see why later. I tried everything to attach the two. I tried hot glue. I tried an epoxy. 
I tried a cement, nothing worked, guys. I even tried filing off some of the glitter to see if more glue would work, and nothing worked. But hey, I had my pipe cleaners, and I decided that I was going to use that to attach the two together. I took the first piece of pipe cleaner and I ran it through that hole. Placed the star down, made sure that my pipe cleaners were even on both ends, and then I just rested the dowel on it and just started to twist it back and forth. After adding the second pipe cleaner to make it more sturdy, this is what it looks like. We are on the home stretch, guys. It's now time to add the ribbon. After adding the ribbon under the star, I'm just going to make sure that it's even on both ends. And then I'm just going to tie a simple bow. Nothing fancy, just a regular bow. The ribbon definitely adds another layer of beauty and elegance, but it also serves another purpose, which is to help cover the pipe cleaner that I used to attach the two pieces. And here it is guys. Isn't that cute? Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm just going to use my scissors to add that little, you know, pattern at the end. That little star point to match my star. The last thing I'm going to do is add this little flower bling. I'm just going to add some hot glue to it. And then I'm going to place it right in the center where the bow crosses just like that and remember the bottom part of that where the tinsel wrapped around it i'm also going to add another one just to cover that little area as well Now I'll be using these old goblets from the Dollar Tree as my base. I've had them a while now and it's time to put them to good use, but I will be spraying them gold to match my theme. Now after spraying them with the gold Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint, this is what they look like. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now let's go ahead and put the whole thing together. I used a combination of hot glue and E6000 to add them to my vases. And here they are guys, they are absolutely gorgeous. I made a total of six of them for a twinkle twinkle little star baby shower. Aren't they gorge? Go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this beautiful DIY. And this is all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for coming and spending the time with me. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And if this is your first time seeing my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm truly happy you stopped by. And I would love for you to join the Penny Pincher family by hitting the subscribe button below. And now don't you forget to hit that notification bell. That way you are the first to know when I upload videos like this. 
And to all my lovely penny pinchers, you know how I feel. Love you, love you, love you. Until the next video, this is your glamorous penny pincher Shalomi saying bye-bye.